Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Home where today we are heading up and right back down with this space shuttle we are gonna visit the space station that I've built around Lua quite a long while ago that's still fucking loud there we go I can't hear my own thoughts right now so yeah we are launching straight up I mean that's not straight up but you, you get what I mean we're piercing through the atmosphere and while we are doing that Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any new video launch, which is happening every single Tuesday. And why not just drop a like while, while you're down there? It's completely free. That was smooth as fuck. That was goddamn fucking smooth. So yeah. Okay, we are well on our way up into the atmosphere. And we're pretty close to booster separation. There we go. Timed, baby. So, yeah. this thing, uh, I was like, I sat down and I was like, what the fuck should I do today? And I didn't really want to build something huge because I didn't have enough time. I didn't want to build something small because it's too boring. And I didn't want to go to Lua building that colony because it's just too much of it. So, yeah. Also, by the way, important. The colony that I'm building, if you, the video you can see out there, or just in the, in the channel in general, I'm planning to make it a colony, uh, community, community colony, there we go. So, whoever wants to join me on that journey, making that colony even bigger and better, and whoever has more imagination than I do, feel free to join my Discord. Sometimes, uh, sometime I'm gonna release the mod list that is required and also the save file. So I can just import it straight to your Kerbal Space Run game, build whatever the fuck you want, no extra mods, that's the rule. Some, ro some mods can be not required, but like the graphics mod. Key Beyond Home is definitely gonna be required because that's where I'm building it. Like graphics mod, whoever has a not so powerful PC just can ignore those. So yeah, build whatever the fuck you want. Like you, after that, just send it straight back to me, and I will have everything ready to go. So yeah, whoever wants to join it again, link for the Discord is in this description. We're gonna have some fun there. We're gonna have memes, we have uploads. Why the fuck the desktop is visible again? Fucking NVIDIA GeForce is being a dick to me from time to time and I hate it, but... That's just what you get, don't it? Doesn't it? It's just how it works, bro. Sometimes you just have dicks around your fucking face. Why not? So yeah. It was trying to show my frames, but it failed miserably. That's good, I guess. Uh, yeah, whatever. My leg is super itchy, but I can't fucking scratch it right now because I'm recording a video. Don't you have that feeling when you have like when you wear long socks? And and <laughs> yeah, the end of those socks just cramp your leg so much that it starts itching and it won't just go away even if you scratch it. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. Uh, I made the polar orbit maneuver self-explanatory, basically, uh, because I just wanted to have some more interesting things to do, and I built the space station in a polar orbit. So yeah, that's good. So now we are moving towards the space station and making it. I mean, I mean. Trying to dock with it, basically. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's surprising how this took so long. I mean, this is the longest segment of, of the entire mission, entire video, and it's like sped up six times. Nice. But yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Good talking, Jack. Of course. So. One of the part of being this thing too long is because I didn't really want to rush things up because 
rushing things makes things go boom. Especially when you have over 600 parts in a space station. So go easy, go slow, make things succeed. That's not a life lesson. I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing, so don't take the life lessons from me. So yeah, that's just how it should be. So yeah, but yeah, we're pretty near towards the space station, and I just realized that those gravity things, washing machines, I guess, they don't work. They don't spin. I forgot. I actually forgot to turn them on because. They will stop spinning when you just reach the 250 mark of this physics uh, limit, so yeah. And especially it was hard for me to just dock with the docking port up of the craft because just, <laughs> just unusual for me, so yeah. I brought down my energy again for some fucking reason, I don't want to do that, so energy go up, charge her up my ass, so yeah. And we have like no electric charger guys, but yeah. We are on our way to dock, close docking, and come on, come on, we're docked baby. Mission successful. The entire purpose of this mission was to deliver supplies to the space station and just to hang out with the crew because they have been here for a long ass time and they have been bored as fuck. So, yeah. Overall, just gonna have some orbits done, play some games with the crew, deliver them a heavily modded Kerberos Space Program. And, because, let's face it, they have done whatever the fuck they need to do in all those years there. So now they just have. Their, this is their new home, and all they gotta do is just to chill, play a lot of Color Bros. Play program. I brought them about 5 petabytes of games so they can play whatever the fuck they want on it. Imagine playing, imagine having 5 petabytes of games. Jesus Christ, I have like around 20 games and I still don't know what the fuck to play. Life of a gamer. Having a bunch of games and not knowing what to play. Because either you just don't feel like you want to play that game, or... Yeah, whatever. So, we left them there, we said goodbyes to all of them, and we are heading back to home, back to our homeland, back to road. That orbit doesn't look right at all, but who the fuck cares, because I'm gonna make shit work anyway, because we have a lot of fuel, thanks to the efficiency of those nuclear engines. So yeah, my plan was to land on one of those uh, runways in the middle of nowhere. That the mod that gives me that is Kerbal K6 extended, I guess, but I'm not sure. But yeah, but I forgot that the planet turns, so I was just in the middle of two separate uh, runways. My chances in life. You have two things that you can go to, and you're straight in the fucking middle. So yeah, not good. Ah, uh, this key just flew up because I hit the disc. Sure, why not? It's barely standing in me. So yeah, we are decreased. I mean, I have the engines to light because I wanted to get to that. I'm keep on showing with my hands, but you can't see everything. You can see the screen. You can't see this where I'm pointing at. Yeah, there we go. I pitched too aggressively, and that—that's just what happened. I just hate the fact that this happens from time to time, but you gotta do what you gotta do and explode the landing. That's not good when you have like nuclear engines. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. All of the crew survived and I recovered all of them safely. So yeah. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, punch like that. Punch subscribe if you're new. And as always, I hope next week. Until then, 
have, I know, some weak 